USA. Good, 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 good time. Okay, go around the other side. Are you going in? Yeah. Kind of a direct route. Sometimes if you come in the afternoon, they'll have food here. It's like brats and fries. I really want to find a Disney one. I haven't heard anything about duck song. I see people posting on Facebook. They do have a piano. What is it? Thanks. Oh, lights.
Did you take a picture of <laughs> Me when I can't have the bread thing? Mm. What you doing? Thinking about this bread basket. Not talking about it. It's a mufalada. Who is that thing? What? Sure.
Do you want to go down the slide? Okay, no. The magic, the dream, the wonder. The sail of wave. Wow. Look at this big TV up there. Did you see the... <laughs> Did you see your quote? Looks a little different. Well, they got a big TV too. Look. And it's got the Wii sensor. I still think they should have animations in here.
Oh, there's the Frodo. The what? Where? There you go. What is that big thing? Are you getting anything? Are you getting an ice cream? They gotta serve it for you now. Vanilla and chocolate season. <laughs> oh look, there's the two cheese. Go ahead, man. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some of this. Who's that? Honey glazed ham. This is where I got you a cappuccino the one time. What is this thing? Cranberry slice, orange chocolate cupcake, caramel tartlet. Ooh, I want it. Chocolate chip muffin jasmine with you all of those.
It smells. you are taking to your assembly station. The ship is equipped with low-level emergency lighting. Hey. There's your lifeboat.
They don't have those jellyfish fixtures that they had on the Wonder. Not yet. Okay. Well, order me something good, okay? Okay. He's got oven mitts on. Nice. Oh, he's the nice Viking. <laughs> I'm very excited. Yes. My favorite part about the surprise party is yelling surprise. <laughs> what is it? What's your favorite part of the party? Singing. Singing? Do you have a, you have a favorite song? She likes Taylor Swift. I, I haven't met them. Do, do they sing songs? Yeah. What's that? Can you sing here, Bowen? <laughs> you can sing happy birthday. Happy birthday? I think we can do that. Why don't you get everybody to sing happy birthday, okay? Okay. Hey, look at this. Happy birthday. Hey, Dina. 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 Okay, 
And if you have trouble remembering that, I'm the one with a hook or a head. And I'll always need to use my full voice for this evening. Make some noise for Mike Kellogg! And the Lanlier! And you, you're all here for a bundle surprise birthday party! Fancy party. No, no, we're not. Let's make a show. We're going to throw the best surprise birthday party. Come on. I even have a little dizzy for the year.
What is this thing? Is this the blueberry? Blueberry streusel. Red velvet cupcake with what do they say is inside? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Bye! Bye! Okay. I say you got the cupcake! Yes! Woo! And I heard you. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs> 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 Easy. A whip.
Okay. Somebody waits for you. Mr. Wants for me. Now I'll leave your Christmas. Anything she can give you. Oh my God, we have a Let's go until we get some. 
Well, a very good evening. How is everybody this evening? So good. Welcome on board. And you know what? We're here in the lobby atrium for what really has become a tradition here on board of the Disney Magic. We're excited. We're going to sing a couple of songs. We're going to have a good time. We're going to light that tree. And as I look around, I see that all the people around are all with their family and their friends. And at this time of year, that is very important for us. You know, to be with family and friends, and I think it's only right that we bring along some of our very special friends to help us light this Christmas tree. So, you think I know who I mean? I know, but I don't know where they are right now. They, they should be here, but you know what? In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll get a couple of our family members, a couple of Disney Cruise Line family members and crew members who work on board, and they're going to tell us how the holidays are celebrated back home when they are trying to host Mickey and Minnie Mouse! Why, it's almost time to create some very merry magic with our holiday tree! Is everybody ready to help us out?
just get to know who everybody is. So first of all, let me know your name and then we'll go from there. Hello, what's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Ross. Ross. And your name is? Sebastian. Excellent. I love it. And your name is? Holly. Oh, wow. Are you excited for, for um, a Disney cruise? And are you going to help us like a big tree right there? I think you have what it takes. Yeah? Are you excited too, Sebastian? Are you ready? Okay, perfect. Well, I think we're ready to light our tree. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to head up this way. If you want to come right this way with me. And as we do that, we are going to take our family of dreamers. They're going to head right up this way with Megan. And then the rest of us, we need all of your help as well because we need to do a countdown. Well, here we go. It looks like the moment has arrived. Mickey, how about a holiday countdown? Here we go! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! That's amazing!
volcano in Mexico. And that volcano was named Titia. So they decided to name Titia after that volcano. The meaning of Titia means small breasts. So whichever theory you prefer, you choose that one. Now back in the ancient Aztec times, there was a massive thunderstorm. And there was some lightning striking and it hit some agave plants. Now, they got some fumes from the burning agave plants. And it smelled quite nice. If you never smelled it, it kind of smells like uh, burning brown sugar in a way. So, they decided let's try to do something with that. So they roughly fermented it and distilled it as best as they could with the technology that they had back then. What came out was a white liquid substance, like a potion in a way. They called it at the time, Pulque. Now, Pulque is much closer Mezcal than it is to tequila. So a couple hundred years after that, the Spanish conquistadors came in. They came in with uh, barrels of brandy and whiskey. Now eventually, the whiskey and the brandy all ran out. So they decided to partner with the locals so that they can get some agave plants and pulque. And with their technological know-how at the time, decided a better product with the movie that was given to them. And thus, tequila for Julio as well. Now today, we're doing four tequilas, two margaritas, and one special. I decided to make a for you guys. So, before we start, I'd like to do plenty of balance. Have some water. And the first shot that you have is sour. Like the, the line of the buffet upstairs is amazing. It's 
so much for participating. Have a crazy evening, so good. Family, trust when I tell you, I have way more craziness coming for you guys. Family, we're gonna be back in here tomorrow night. So tomorrow night after dinner, after the show, we invite you all to come back and join us here. The doors open up at least 9:45. We try to get them open a little earlier, but trust me, get in here early, get in your seat. It's gonna be wild and off the chain. And I'll translate. Really, really fun. Okay, now the first game show we're gonna have in this room is called Majority Rules. And I'm not telling you I have in life, and I write a lot of game shows for you guys. I wrote that one too. Okay, Majority Rules is gonna have everybody in here voting. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna ask you all a generic question. There's no wrong or right answers to my question. You're going to simply write down on a little piece of paper what you think everybody else in this room is going to write down. It really is that easy. The people who actually guess that answer and get the most popular answers, they get a point, they win the game. We'll see how this goes. And the entire winning team wins prizes. Somebody say, yay. Yeah. Yeah.